Hello guys, it's me. Um, recently, Morgan Madrin, uh, I forget exactly what his role is at Blizzard, but he's uh, a matchmaking dude, I believe. Uh, and he recently uh, gave us some information regarding the ranked mode. And as all of you know, I'm a junkie for ranked mode information. Uh, so we're going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown of what it is. So he revealed the rank distribution, which is fairly rare uh, in Overwatch. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, it's always appreciated. We love rank distribution graphs. Uh, so a graph was released on his Twitter, and then I believe someone edited this graph uh, to layer on an old graph to see where the old rankings were and where the new rankings are to make a comparison. Basically, uh, I'll go over it now. Uh, if you are bronze right now, you are a smaller population of the player base than uh, previously. There are about half as many bronze players today as there used to be. I'm not entirely sure where this old data is from. This might be Overwatch 1 data, it may be Overwatch 2 data, I actually don't know. Um, but as of right now, you are... If you are in bronze, there are half as many bronze players as there are as there were in the past. If you are a silver player, you are now a slightly larger part of the population, going up from 19.1% previously to 20.2% now. So there's slightly more silver players. Uh, so what is probably happening is most of the bronze players were pushed into silver. A lot of silver players are then going against those old bronze players and winning and moving into gold. And that's probably what's happening. It's, it's pushing towards the middle. So if you are a gold player now, you are in the 36.67% of the population in gold. Um, if you are in gold now, you are in a much larger percentage of the player base because gold was previously 26.8%. So a pretty big increase in gold. There's a lot more players in gold, which means there is a lot uh, more distribution of skill in gold. So it's going to be a wider variety of skill. That's probably why a lot of gold players are talking about Lord matchmaking quality is because some um, players have always been pushed up to gold and those players might not be of the caliber that were in gold previously. So there's, you know, uh, a thing that people are complaining about. Uh, if you are in platinum now, you are basically exactly in the same skill bracket as previously. Uh, platinum has moved from 26.2% of the game's population to 26.93%, so a 0.73% increase in the amount of players in plat, uh, likely moving down from diamond and up from gold a little bit. But now we start getting to the really interesting figures that I uh, that I personally um, liked seeing the most. So previously, if you were a diamond player, you were in the 12.3% uh, of the player base. Diamond now represents 9.4% of the player base. So, if you're a diamond player now, you are better than diamond was when the when this old data was um, obviously released. So, if you're diamond now, you're actually better at the game. Like, a lot better at the game. You're better than, like, 3% extra of the population. Um, we'll go into exactly what, like, top percentage you'll, you'll be later. But for now... Um, yeah, 9.4%. So, another very interesting thing is Masters used to be 4% of the population. If you were in Masters, you were in the uh, the top 4%, really. So, uh, now, if you are a anywhere in Masters, anywhere, Masters, like literally one ELO inside Masters 5 or Masters 1, you're in the top 1.93% percent of the population well not the top 1.93 you are in 1.93 percent of the population which i think evens out to with the other numbers i have in front of me it's about two and a half percent so if you're in masters you're in the top 2.5 percent of everyone playing the game that is a very very big difference to the previous amount of players in masters meaning right now if you are a masters player you are a lot better a lot better than um whatever caliber of player a masters player would have been when the old dad was released so if you're currently masters you're way better at the game now this is what's really interesting to me if you were in grandmaster when this old data was released you were in the top 1.5 percent of the player base now if you're a gm player anywhere in gm you are in the 0.27 you're represented by 0.27 percent 
of the player base. A quarter of a percent of the player base is in GM, and only about 0.37% of the entire player base is GM or higher. That's absurd compared to what it used to be. And if you're champion, you're 0.1%. Now, to make it a little easier to break down, someone on Reddit has uh, beautifully made it uh, a lot clearer for people. So, the old rank dis distribution was if you were in uh, GM, you were in the top 1.5% of the player base. If you were Masters, you were between the top 5.4 to 1.5% of the player base. Diamond, you were top 17.7% to top 5.4%. I guess this is just averaging out to 12.3% of the player base being there. Plat, top 43%, and we don't really care about the rest. You can see it. Anyway, the new rank distribution is if you're in champ, top 0.1%. Grandmaster, 0.28% to 0.1%. So about 0.27% of the game's population is GM. Masters is top 2.21 to 0.28%, giving you a grand total of the player base being 1.93% percent masters meaning if you are for example previously a grandmaster player and now you're in masters uh don't be disparaged because you're basically still grandmaster it's the same um essentially what has happened is all of the players that weren't at the very top of their rank have basically been pushed down. So if you were previously a GM1 player, you might now be a GM4 player. If you were a Masters 1 player, you might now be a Masters 5 player. If you were a Diamond 1 player, you might be a Diamond 5 player now. So basically what has happened is if you are still maintaining the rank you were previously, you are way better than you were before if you're above uh, Plat basically. If you're in plat, yeah, you're about as good as you were before. If you're anything higher than that, you're way better than you were before. Which is really interesting, because this um, kind of goes along with what my video said previously, where I would get into GM games or Masters games or whatever it may be, and say, you know what? Like, these Masters players are, these guys play like top 500s. These guys are incredibly good at the game. How are they Masters? And they're Masters, because they're not actually masters, they're previously GM players, high GM players. They're now forced into being masters due to the rank population being forced downwards. Meaning that you're basically, if you're in masters right now, you're almost a GM level player previously. Um, so don't feel bad about yourself if your rank is staying the same or slightly lower. You're likely actually way better than you were before if you're plat or above, which is um, interesting. The thing that I find a little strange about the rank population, though, uh, like really interestingly, is that you would assume that in order to maintain a higher ranking like uh, the distribution shows, then you would have to be a better player. It wouldn't make sense that there was less players in your rank now because the rank got harder, harder to achieve, and then bad players were not pushed out. That wouldn't make any sense. Only the good players would remain. However, something interestingly has happened where there seems to be a lot of players that are really terrible, and I don't know why, because the stats that were released should disagree with that. It should say that if you're any rank in plat or above, anyone in your game should be a better player than they were before. However, ever since the rank resets and things like that, it seems as though the players are not better, but in fact are substantially worse. There is a lot of times where I might be in a Masters 4 game, and I'm like, holy shit, you could tell me this is like a Champ 5 game like a couple of seasons ago. Like, this is a top 500 game for sure. Insanely fast-paced, no one's making positional errors, all the cooldowns being used are correct, no one's making big mistakes, no one's feeding, inting, staggering, nothing. Very high-level gameplay. Um, and that's fine. But now today, it's like you can get into a Masters game, which should technically be a GM game. Almost. Not quite, but almost. And the players sometimes are horrible. And there is a reason for this, and I would like to explain it. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm 100% right, because I, I, there's no way for me to know that, but I have a guess uh, of, as to why this is happening. 
It is because a large portion of the reason that certain players were in certain ranks was because they were good enough to be there. That obviously makes sense. That's how a ranking system works. If you're good enough to be Grandmaster, you'll make it to Grandmaster. That's usually how it works. And that's how it worked in Overwatch 1. If you were a GM level player, didn't really matter what you played, you'd get there eventually. You have players like Dyslexia who won Trixymetra when they were the worst character in the game and were happily getting 4.4k. That's just how the game was. However, the game is very different today. Whereas before in Overwatch 1, what you played was not necessarily that big of a deal. Now it would help, but it was not exactly a defining factor of whether you won or not. You could play quad DPS against GOATS and win sometimes. Not Even though GOATS is a substantially better comp than quad DPS, but if you were good enough at the game, you could turn that into a win. However, in today's day and age, in Overwatch 2, the game is way, way harder in order to win based on your skill and is way, way, way easier to cheese out wins by picking the right heroes and convincing your teammates to play the right heroes. So, basically, what's going to happen is, is stacks are more likely to be higher ranks. So if you're five stacking, you're way more likely to be ranking up uh, in this game as you were in Overwatch 1 or even earlier in Overwatch 2 due to the fact that a stack is substantially more likely to work together and make good swaps like for example if the enemy team is on a ryan comp okay we just go something like reaper junk rat maybe we go on like a sombra we we, we we go like anag brig we just counter the shit out of this guy and we're probably going to win so if you're stacking you're likely a much higher rank um which is a part of rank inflation that's to be expected but it's going to be way worse today because it's easier to win through raw counter picking Another issue with the ranking system is that counterpicking itself is so rewarded, even when you're not in a stack. Uh, this is obviously problematic. Like, for example, um, there are many players in the higher ranks that I don't want to be mean, but are not exactly the best players for that rank. You would expect players to be a lot better. Uh, but there are generally two types of players when you go to Masters. The reason Masters is called the worst rank in the game. And there's, there's reasons for that, and I'll explain. Masters is generally considered the worst rank in the game because there are two types of players. There are the players who are genuinely very, very good, but just say they only like playing Reinhardt, or maybe they like just playing Winston, or Genji, or Tracer, or whatever it may be. They only like playing their character. Not a big fan of swapping heroes or anything. They just want to play their hero, and they're very good at their hero. Uh, or maybe they got a couple of heroes they play. Uh, so that's generally about half the population of Masters, and then the other half of the population of Masters are people that have about a high plat to diamond level understanding of the game or, or mechanics, but are infinitely more willing to swap. They see anything and they'll just immediately go for the counter. They don't really care, uh, they don't really have a hero that they like playing the most, or even if they do, they don't care about playing them, and would rather they just simply force the most, um, or the, the strongest hero in the situation. Which is pretty problematic for a rank system like this, because you're not actually judged on how good you are a lot of the time, you're judged on your ability to pick a character and play them optimally. Not necessarily well, you don't have to outplay anyone in a lot of these heroes now, but as long as you are playing your character properly and are not feeding, your chances of winning are way higher when you counter pick because you're going to have an easier time. For example, if they have a ball, do you think the game would be easier to win on Soldier or Sombra? Probably Sombra. Even if you're a better Soldier player, you're more likely to win on Sombra because Sombra can survive the ball dive easier, she can mi mitigate the ball dive easier, she can actually disturb the ball and make it so that you can't dive at all if you're very good at Sombra, and things like that. Where you may rank up because you are technically good enough at Sombra in that situation to rank up, but you may not be good enough at Sombra to actually win a game on her through your skill and instead are likely winning because it's the correct character to play in this situation. This is absolutely terrible for a ranked mode where half your population in a rank is not good enough to be there but are abusing things like counter picking which is a part of the game yes some people will say that it's not a good part of the game but it's a part of the game where it doesn't require a lot of skill but it gives you a lot of reward and then the other half of the population are basically people smurfing they only like playing genji well they have to play genji against five counter picks now maybe previously they used to be a top 500 genji player in overwatch one but there's so much counter picking now that maybe they're just a masters player now maybe they don't try as hard so they're basically turbo smurfing when they're not getting counter picked 
but when they are getting counterpicked, they're getting absolutely blasted. And that's just how the game is. Um, so, the new rank populations, to put it into summary, if you are uh, plat or above, you're way better at the game, and you are also more likely to be worse at the game if you are stacking or counterpicking, um, and likely to be rank inflated. But the game's the game, play how you want to play. Um, the rank system is completely fucking broken, uh, but it is what it is, guys. Have a good day. Goodbye. Mwah. I love you all. Goodbye.